All right, my friends. So today we got something new come in and I'm actually pretty excited about it. Again, I'm always excited for new stuff because it's new stuff and that's awesome. This was actually sent to us by Comica. And for many of you, you kind of know that I currently shoot with a Comica microphone. So I actually shoot with the uh, CVM V30 Lite, which as you can see, hooked up to my camera right now. And it is what is recording the audio for pretty much all the videos that I've done. Oh, at least in the last, I'd say six months or so since I've got it actually. It's just a permanent attachment to this camera and I've really been happy with it. But today we have the V30 Pro. So let's take a look at that. All right, so here it is, the V30 Pro Directional Condenser Shotgun Video Microphone. Here it is, the box in all its glory, right? Super nice, this is the black. I believe it comes very similar to the V30 Lite that I have. It also comes with a red accent, so really up to you what you like. On the side, you'll see it's super cardioid, which is awesome, so you have a, a narrower pattern for rejecting sound off the sides and of the rear. Uh, excellent shock absorbing, 10 decibel adjustable sensitivity. So this can be really good for taking out some of that like wind noise or high noise or anything like that. And super anti-interference. Not 100% sure what that means, but hey, it's super. So I like it, all good. Still V30 Pro. On the back, what do we have? Super cardioid polar pattern, low cut filter, 10 decibel adjustable sensitivity. Low self noise, super anti-interference, special design for excellent shock absorbing, packed with a windscreen and wind muff, and cold shoe design with a quarter inch thread at bottom. It takes two AAA batteries, uh, battery life about 200 hours, that's awesome. Uh, weight 114 grams and dimensions 210 by 62 by 80 millimeters. Box includes the mic body, including windscreen and a wind muff. Let's open this up, let's open it up. Oh yeah, and you get a, Little QR code up the top if you want to go get some information, which, hey, why not? If you don't know, do it. So I'm going to crack open the seal here. Oh, it just, it just peels off. Even easier. Nothing better than it just peeling off like that. What comes in here? Are we ready? Okay. There we go. So in the bottom here, first off, we get a little card that says Comica Audio Microphone Authorized Dealer. Sweet. Looks good, nice. But here it is. So we're gonna lift this up. That's the reveal right there. And we get the microphone. So this is definitely a longer and bigger microphone than my V30 Lite. Now, the big difference between this and the Lite, of course, is that the Lite doesn't take batteries. So for an area like this where I don't want to be halfway through a scenario and my batteries die. That's why I kind of switched to this one. But to be honest with you, with 200 plus hours, it may not be a horrible thing to try this. This is, again, the microphone. Bring this up close so you guys can see it. There it is, microphone. Now on the back, you will see here. So there is, hopefully you guys can see that. This is where you're going to have the ability to switch that plus or minus 10 dB. So if you see that your volume is peaking or you're getting too much audio coming through, you can pop that on or off to either increase it or decrease it, whichever you so choose. That's nice, I love it. And last but not least, you get, well, you do get a little registration card and a manual, nice little manual if you so need to. And the wind muff. So these are really important for those of us that are gonna use this outdoors, which I do without question. So. This, put that over here. There it is, right? Comica. Nice little. It's like my old photos. Check this out. Ready? Yeah, that's when it was. Right? Yep. So this, this would come off so you guys can see this, right? So here's that super cardioid mic. Right? So that's it right there. You can see how long it is and consider how long it is in comparison to, let's say the light or any of those microphones kind of in that. When this gets a little longer, of course, your cardioid pattern narrows. So that would go in there. But this simply, 
when you need it. Just kind of slides in there. Oh, so here you go, just so you guys see this. There's a center piece there, right? So a little, it kind of has a center like that. It kind of opens up, opens up in the middle. So don't kind of come in from the back, it centers here. So this would actually go in this way, is my guess. Slide as much of this into this as possible, is what I'm guessing. It's gotta be a way, it's gotta be a way. This has gotta go in there, gotta, is there something? Because this will have to be the back, right? So that would be, maybe it goes this way. So that goes, that goes on nice and tight. Because it's okay to have the back out. You don't mind the back being out. Aha, see that's better. And then that goes on. So my guess is it's best to bring this in. Sounds funny. Sounds like a funny statement I'm gonna make, but take it. You wanna come in from the rear so that you can get this part, this part here coming out of there, right? So this kind of comes in first, you snug this up, which also means that you have access to the batteries if you need to change it. This now comes on, the base is good, you snug that right up to the base, and then you can run your, cab you can run your cable out or whatever and plug it into the camera. So that's that, there you go. I may actually keep this on the majority of the time. This may be my, my outdoor mic. Maybe it'll be my indoor mic, I don't know. It's shedding a little bit. That's okay. So what we're gonna do now, because, yeah, it's shedding. That's okay. Everything sheds, it's that time of year. We're gonna take this and go outside. I wanna go outside when it's a little windy. So hopefully the wind picks up a little bit, but I wanna see what it sounds like. I'm gonna go grab some AAA batteries and uh, I'm excited to see. All right, let's head outside. All right, so we're outside and we have the microphone attached. So hopefully this is good. It's a little bit of a wind outside, not a lot, but a little bit. And normally on a normal mic, especially the internal mic, you would definitely hear this. Um, so, you'd hear that wind noise coming out. So, a little bit of a test. Again, not as windy as I'd hope, but it is what it is. Now, here's the one thing I want you guys to notice. So, I do have the wind muff on. So, here's my camera, and I'm gonna put it in wide. There'd be a car coming by, so here's a nice test to see if you can hear anything, all right? So, car, anything from behind? And a car going by. So let's see if that super cardioid pattern is doing anything. I'm gonna go really wide, ready? So this is a 10 millimeter, this is a 10 to 18. You see the, you see the muff kind of getting in the shot? So just kind of be aware of that, right? It sits down a lot, so, cause it's so long, that you get that in the shot. So if you wanna shoot really wide in a windy day, just kind of be aware that you're gonna get this there floating around in the shot. Um, yeah, there's definitely some wind right there. That would be causing an issue, for sure. Yeah, right there. So I'm gonna go back. We're gonna put on the normal mic cover so that we can see. All right, hold on. Okay, so I've got the standard wind protector on, just the foam on the camera right now. So we're gonna do just a little bit of a walk, same walk, this way. First thing is there's a plane flying over, so can you hear that very well? Because it's usually really loud. I'll turn this way, because it's flying over. See if it actually gets rid of some of that sound. Again, a little bit of a wind, not horrible, but enough that most cameras, if you were using just a camera microphone, would definitely be having issues with that for sure. So a nice little kind of side wind is happening. More if I go this way, I think. Yeah, that I can definitely feel that wind in my face. The wind in my face. I'm not talking very loud. I'm talking at normal, normal volume. And uh, I'll give you one of these to see what the sound is like when the mic is pointing away from you. Also, just for fun, off to the side, does it hear me as good or better? Or is it isolating the sound? And then, of course, back to me. So, I'm gonna go into the house so you guys, well you guys will see the results right away, hear the results. I haven't, so I'm gonna go look at this footage, see what I think, and uh, we'll continue the video upstairs. Two sex guys. All right guys, so we're back in the house and I've had the opportunity, of course, to go watch slash listen to that. So a couple things, um, when you are actually using the wind muff, my recommendation is to not use it necessarily when you're vlogging. The suspension 
setup on the microphone, on the Pro, really good. It takes away a lot of that vibration, but because of the weight of the muff, wind muff, I guess, you actually see this thing pivot a lot, which again gets the fur in the shot, but you also hear just because of it moving. If you are doing a stationary slash tripod shot slash holding it on a monopod slash just to hold your camera kind of deal, it works great. But if you're in like a vlogging where you're moving, you are going to see that mic kind of bounce up and down like it did with mine. Secondly, of course, is just be aware with the muff that um, you are going to be limited to some of the actual lenses that you use. So I was using a 10 to 18 and at 10 it was all over the shot and at the 18 it was just kind of snipping in there once in a while and this is on a crop sensor so be aware. So anything higher than that you should be okay but just be aware with the muff. Again, I would probably use this and it did work really well but I would use it on a static shot with a tripod just so that there's no vibration in the actual mic itself so that it's not picking it up and it's not dropping into the shot. Now, when you took the wind muff on and you put the standard foam back on, this thing worked like a champ. The sound was fantastic. Nothing got in the shot, even at full 10 millimeters on the crop. So you're looking at about 16 millimeters. And the sound actually was really good. I was very happy. I was surprised actually at some of the sound isolation, especially on the side. Now, most cardioid patterns, of course, they're fairly wide, so they shoot around like this, but they get a bit of the back. And that's the same with the super cardioid pattern, but it really does, and I really notice when I turn the camera to the side, that that side isolation, where it was just deadening that sound, actually really good, quite a bit better than some of the other mics that I've used in the past. And that's that super cardioid pattern where it's really narrowing down that field, right? That's that longer. And you can see right here, here's a little shot of the Comica Light versus the Comica Pro, and you can see how much longer the Pro is in comparison. Now, as a final for you guys, the beginning of this video, so if you go back and listen, was shot with the Comica Light. That's this guy right here. This part of the video has the Comica V30 Pro attached and is what is recording this sound right now. So my hope is that because of the cardioid pattern, it is isolating a lot more, let's even say room echo, because of the fact that it's gonna kick that stuff out. So both side and rear, which is my hope, and hopefully you guys notice that as well. This is my last thing. That was supposed to be, but this is my last one. I do still like the light, and here's the reason. One part of this video, I had to shoot twice. Why? Because I forgot to turn the power on on the microphone. I'm so used to using this light version that doesn't require batteries that I just recorded the whole thing, turned around, and I'm like, oh, the light's not even on. Boo to me. So off I go to do it again. So be aware, for most of us that are using something like this, that you have to turn it on. Because if not, weirdly enough, it doesn't work so good. Or at all. Yeah. All right, guys. I'm going to do two things. I'm going to put a link to the Pro, because I do like it. I think it's definitely a better mic than this. For sure. I do really like this one still but if you're like me and have a tendency every once in a while to possibly forget to turn things on like your power then this may also be a good option and that's the light all right guys that's it links down below like comment share and subscribe and as per the usual, we will see you guys in the next video have a great one talk to you then